Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today we are gonna see how to run a storm topology within Eclipse. The reason why I'm doing this video is many I got many messages saying that they did not find uh, any videos or they did not find any blogs on running storm topology within Eclipse. So so we will see today how to run a storm topology within an Eclipse by for the testing purpose for the development purpose so i do have uh, already created a storm uh, my own project storm topology so i created a maven project so when we create a maven project we will get a file called pom file you need to add the dependencies to that so i added a dependency uh, apache strom uh, 0 0.10 dependency to my pom file so once you add it that uh, you will get all the required uh, jars so or oh, jars of storm so you can start developing once they download it to our class path and to our your project so the first thing we are going to develop is a spout in the storm spout is the data source where we are going to create our own data for the processing purpose so here uh, i created class spout that extends base rich spout when you extend your spout class to base rich spout you will get three Five, three important methods that is open and next tuple and declaration these are the three important methods that you should keep in your mind when you are writing your own spout so this acknowledgement and fail uh, they are they are optional if you want to use them then you can use it so here within uh, prepare open method what I did is I created a collector object uh, here and collector character so i get that collector object is this dot character is to this character so within the next next to pull uh, for the current number one i started i just incremented number and i emptied the numbers so that my data source just gives out only the numbers that is one two three four five six the, my data source is made for emptying only the numbers so these numbers are picked up by polls Bolt is something that computer is required competitions that perform required competitions for us within the storm topology. So here, here is the bolt. So the bolt class extends base rich bolt. So when you extend the bolt class with base rich bolt, uh, you will get another three more prepare, execute, and declaration methods. So you need to add these three methods to perform your computations on the data so so, so simply I have written the same thing I created a collector object and then execute tuple I got the tuple uh, and I got tuple dot get integer zero so each and every member which was generated by my spot was consumed by my port so here if is prime what I said is is prime that means uh, and here has written a small logic for setting up whether the number generated by sport is prime or not so here when it is prime I just started printing uh, so system dot printer and number so when I got the prime numbers and I can see the prime number generated by my spot generated by my spot within a port so this is how we run this there is one more bolt we can write that is base basic bolt so what the only difference is here we need to anchor so once the tuple was uh, generated the perform the competition what we did is we acknowledgement acknowledge that yes that the process the tuple generated by spout was uh, processed by bolt and it was completed to for, so fun to for noticing that we create an acknowledgement uh, so when we make use of that base basic bolt we don't need to do that type of acknowledgement or type of anchoring uh, this that is done automatically by that particular bolt so the next thing so we created a spout uh, we had the bolt the next thing is the topology the main class uh, within the main class uh, we are gonna call our spout class as well as our bolt class and we are gonna execute our topology the reason why you are not able to run your strong topology in your eclipse ID is 
may be this a strom submitter you may be using this strom submitter statement in your uh, strom uh, in your ide by uh, you know topology while running the anti topology within eclipse so when you're trying to run your topology in your uh, in your eclipse so you need to create a local cluster so here backed up from local cluster you need to create your local cluster so that local cluster runs on your eclipse ide so when so if you if you keep this statement please comment it and add this three state these two statements so you can run your topology on your eclipse without any error so we'll see so we are uh, named my spot as port and my bolt has bolt so the output we are going to see is only the prime numbers so I'm running it. So after running for 10 seconds, I'm gonna kill my clusters. I'm shutting my cluster automatically, my local cluster. So within 10 seconds, uh, I'm going my program is going to terminate. So when you are doing in the real time, you're going to you're not going to write any kill or you're not going to write any uh, wait methods within the topology the strong topology runs forever so these are the numbers so here you can see the numbers all the prime numbers that will be printed for 10 seconds and next yes my program got terminated my cluster has so this is how we run strong topologies on uh, eclipse ide so for now what i did is i am i used uh, 0 0.10 version uh, so that is uh, not the current version the current version is 1.3 so if you want to make sure if you want to run the storm topology make sure that you uh, develop your storm topologies on the current stable versions uh, so the only thing you see that change is the package name before one uh, there was back type after one they reconstructed they renamed the package back type into org.strom so the entire coding and the entire part and the methods was the same the only thing is that they changed the package name so this is how we run storm topology with an eclipse thank you for watching my video have a good day